Hey, it's Andrew from Five Little Ducks Resale here. We're gonna to do today's video a little bit different to keep things fresh. My wife Jessica wanted to go through and do a thrift haul video from her latest finds at Goodwill, where she and my youngest daughter went the other day. So check it out. Hi, this is Jessica from Five Little Ducks Resale. Um, my daughter Melina and I went out Monday to the Goodwill shop so she could look for jeans and we decided since we were there that we were going to do a thrift haul and see what we could find. So we just went to one store and we spent about 50 or $55 on everything so I'll show you what we found. Okay so this little item we found was a little root view farm so you get to actually plant the seeds and the kids can watch um their seeds grow into plants and vegetables and i thought this was be kind of cool for a homeschooling family since we homeschool and it was the start of a new school year so we went ahead and picked that up and then i found this cool little light up terrarium um I thought that was kind of cool and since it had never been used we picked that up as well i found these two herbal essences um conditioners and saw that those sold rather well in lots of two so i picked those up um got two hats one is mickey and one is a muppet hat i thought this one was really cool and I like the bright colors. I got actually two of these. Um, back up a little bit so you can see. Melissa and Doug's um, memory games. And those were brand new and sealed. So I picked those up. Those would even make good... Well, it even says it on there. Great for travel. So trying to keep your kids busy in the car and get one of those and Melina actually found these she's being too shy to come on camera they're just two build-a-bears one is pink and she found this dog and this is the part where Andy doesn't like some of my pickups because I like to pick up mugs and he doesn't always like mugs but I found this Starbucks mug, and Starbucks um, usually does pretty well. And then I found this Star Wars mug, and here's the Coca-Cola Santa glass, as I try not to break them. And a Red Lobster Typhoon mug. I found one from Papacitos. And I found another one from Papacitos, so we may lot those together. And then I found three Red Robin mugs. Glasses, not mugs, I'm sorry. And then I found this cool Dick's Last Resort. And then these I'll probably put in a lot together. It's a cola mug and a cream soda. But I just thought these were cute little mugs. And there I go with that mug where it's glasses. So I thought those were cool. But I picked everything up on the table that I just showed you for, like I said, I don't remember in particular. It was either 50 or $55 after I used my $10 rewards. So that was our little thrift haul from Melina and I. Thanks for doing that, hun. Looks like we got some good stuff to list over the next few days. At this point, let's go through some of the stuff that is sold out of the eBay store. All right, topping off the list was this Victoria's Secret. Dallas Cowboys women's extra small shorts. These sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This was probably one of the fastest sales we've ever had. I listed these um, the other morning and about 18 minutes later, they sold. Next up was this L'Oreal Galaxy Lumiere Holographic Lip Gloss. It sold for $6.29 plus shipping. Next up was this vintage 1999 Boston Warehouse set of four Uncle Sam or 4th of July spreaders. This was on sale for $10.39, plus shipping. Next up was a Stampin' Up! 
craft item. It was the Stampin' Up! one and a half inch scalloped edge postage stamp square, and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. The next item was this Disney Minnie Mouse pink toothbrush holder, and it sold for $6.99 plus shipping. The next items going out were there's a lot of three Halloween themed mugs. We had a buyer come in and buy all three for $7.50 plus shipping. Next up was this Thai Beanie Boos. It was Simone the Cute Pink Sloth, and she sold for $4.99 plus shipping. I discovered in one of the last lots of scrapbook items that I purchased that some of the punches, the paper punches, they didn't work as I had hoped they did. So I ended up going through and lotting up all of the ones that weren't working properly into an auction, and these lot of eight sold for $10.50 plus shipping. This next item was kind of a cool thing. I had found this at an estate sale, and this had the keywords Pulp Fiction in the title, uh, because here's why. So as you can see, it was a vintage 1950s boxing kangaroo dresser caddy that was featured in the movie Pulp Fiction. And this ended up selling for $49.99 plus shipping. Next up, another stamp item. This was the Stampin' Up! Extra Large Oval Punch, and this sold on best offer for $13.49 plus shipping. Next up, another punch. This one was the 7 eighths inch scalloped edge circle, and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Up next was this Nike Golf PGA Tour logo hat, and it sold for $11.99 plus shipping. The next item was this Funko Pop. This was a loose figure, and it was uh, number 397, Spider-Man in an ugly holiday sweater, and he sold for $6.99 on best offer plus shipping. And rounding out the list of sales today, we had this lot of five mini paper punches, and they sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Okay, guys, that is about all that we had for this video today. Appreciate you staying with us thus far. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and smash that like button. And please consider subscribing to the channel because it really does help us grow. And we'll catch you on the next one.